This video is supported by Profit Accumulator. Profit Accumulator helps you to earn extra money by doing something called match betting. Match betting isn't gambling. And when you do it properly, and I mean properly, you can't lose. So get involved right now. Click the link in the description and sign up to Profit Accumulator right now. Hi and welcome to the Stats Preview Show with myself, Cecil G, and my man, James B. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be looking ahead at the game against United, giving you all the stats you need to know. James, what you got for us? Sorry. Did you like that? That was, <laughs> that, yeah, that, was, that was high, that was nice. That was good. High energy in. Yeah, we've got the in. name right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, then. <laughs> Leave, forgive me, man. The stats preview, review, good. Geneva, it gets confusing. It's fine, we're here. Right. Man United Arsenal, how are you feeling? Uh, why has everyone asked me this question? I, um, I'm not, I'm okay. You're not, you're I'm not, not confident. Not. I'm not confident, but I'm okay. Like, I know Arsenal, like, we, we'll have a bad spell, i.e. Leicester. Mm. Then we'll do something crazy, um, beat United, maybe, or get a draw. And yeah. then the fans are happy and they forget about the Leicester performance and they forget about things that may be going wrong. But, yeah, that's what kind of tends to happen. So you, so. So you think if, even if we win at Old Trafford, it might cloud... Um, some actual problems at the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deep, yeah. deep. Yeah, okay. That's I think, quite deep. Yeah, yeah obviously, I, I, I want to give Arteta time. Mm. So I'm not going to say there's serious problems to worry about yet, but mm. there's still, there's definitely things that need to happen within the club. I think obviously players still need time together and whatnot, but mm. I just, there's there's a lot of needs, uh, going forward needs a lot of work. Yeah, the, yeah I've yeah. spoke about this in my fan cam yesterday. Mm. Um, that, yeah, just need more urgency going forward. So I feel like Arteta needs to work on that. So there's things that need to be done. Mm. And yeah, there's players that I just I don't You're see not fit. convinced yeah, are, I'm not convinced. good enough for us yeah. still. Yeah, so, so uh -huh. yeah, that I think can get clouded if we get, if, yeah. big I-F, big if, yeah. we get the win on Sunday. Sorry, I know I'm saying a bit negative to start with, but that's, it's the realist. Yeah, that was a little, yeah. It's I'm, the realist. I'm, fair enough, fair mm. enough, because you're quite a, Positive character. Yeah, but of course. You, yeah. Okay. I'm, well. I'm a realist. I'm positive. But I'm the realist. What? Okay. Are, are you confident for Sunday? Well, you got the stats, so. Uh, I've got the stats. We're gonna go through. Um, yeah. Am I confident for Sunday? It's uh, depends where you place your confidence in. Am I confident we're gonna go and win? Well, no, because it's still Man United away. Like I'm not like I'm not. Uh, I'm not like Ty, who's like absolutely <laughs> convinced, like oh, more convinced Ty. than anything in life that Ty. we are winning at Old Trafford. Ty told me. That on Sunday <laughs> they should be scared of us. They should be. Yeah, scared. yeah, yeah. yeah. He was saying that the yeah. fan cam as well. Bless oh, him. Um, but I, but where I agree with him is that I'm confident that we can go and perform and get something and maybe nick a win. Not even nick a win. Like actually play well and, okay. and beat them. Um, should we go into some stats? Because that is what we're here that's, to do. That's what we're here for. Bring Talk some to stats you. to life. Give them some meaning. Yep. You know what does it mean? Do, are they shrouded by you know context or whatever? Let's yeah. go into it. First one, Man United are unbeaten in their last 13 home league games against Arsenal. That's eight wins, five draws. The last time we beat them was 1-0 in September of 2006. Okay. So, right, so that's two, so 2006, last time we went to Old Trafford and won in the league. In the league. years ago. We all remember Danny Welbeck, yeah. that world-class goal. Big up, Troops was talking about that Cup. today. Yeah, no, fair. Yeah. Okay, that's still, that's, that's, I mean... One stat to United, They're, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. quite a good one on there. Yeah, we half. should score these. That's 1-0 United, I think. Yeah, but to be fair, we said this about Leicester. Leicester haven't come and beaten us since 1973 and mm. all that, and then they broke that record. Like I read Yeah, a, good you know, point. Yeah, I read in a comment, like, records yeah. are meant to be broken, so, mm. you know what I mean? Very hopefully, true. Hopefully we can break that one. It was quite funny. The, the stats were all in Man City's favour before the game, and we lost. Mm. And the stats were all in Arsenal's favour before Leicester. And we, we lost. lost. <laughs> so, so that's, that's so a stat in itself, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> yeah. run with that one. All right, next one. Arsenal are unbeaten in their last four league games against Man United. They last had a run, a run this long in 1989 and 9 to 1992, which is five games. So Blimey. four times, yeah, yeah, last four league games. We've well, not we, lost. We've but there was was there there was draw there was a draw in there wasn't there? Uh, I think two home wins. Yeah. Two two nils. One under, one under Emery. One under Arteta. Yeah. A two two draw under yeah. Emery and a one one draw under Emery. Okay. So Emery did all right against Man United. He did. Um, I think I, I remember. Yeah, I do time. remember them games. Um, okay. So that's that's it's promising. Yeah. They'll be thinking that they've not beaten like, for, for all. You know, when all is said and done, and we're worrying about the Arsenal side of things, I think any reasonable Man United fan will be remembering that they 
haven't beaten us in the league for mm. the last, yeah, the last four meetings. Yeah, definitely. They'll, so that's they'll be on their mind. They'll be on mm. their mind. But I feel like they'll be very confident off the back of their recent their fixtures. Recent, yeah, just, just peppered Leipzig 5-0. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully, but uh, yeah, no. Next yeah. step, what else have we got? Man United are winless in their last three home league games so far this season. They've drawn one and okay. lost two. So that was obviously Chelsea they drew, yep. um, Spurs they lost, yep. and Palace they lost. Palace they yeah. So they don't like London teams. No. Which is... Weird. Okay. We're yeah, we'll, yeah. I mean, that but definitely plays no part. When it comes to Arsenal... Yeah. Everyone seems to get find their confidence and find their feet, but you're right. It's true. You yeah. are these, right. These records look good, and then Arsenal come along. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm quite confident in the fact that you said, yeah, the stats always lean to one team's to a favour of one team's side, and then we it normally goes the opposite way. So I'm just that yeah, is well. that is uh, yeah, that's my biggest hope for now. Well, the, the stats just are wrong. No, yeah, the stats <laughs> yeah. Is, yeah yeah the stats are wrong. Well, that make me happy. Let's look at more. Um, Arsenal have averaged just 8.8 .8 shots per game this season and they scored 1.3 goals per game in the Premier League. Yeah. It's the lowest shots per game average in a single, single campaign since 90, for ages. 97, 98. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when the data yeah. is available, they put it in brackets. <laughs> <laughs> See, now the stats are, they're taking the mick. They're taking the mick. Yeah. No, no, I'm sending, we're sending an email. Oh, yeah. stats, I get an email. That's, that's taking the mick. I love that. They're like, by the way, this is far when back we, as we can Yeah, go. when we first, even, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the furthest we can go it, back. It might be way longer, yeah. but we just don't know for sure. Um, <laughs> Back when I was sending messages quite, through birds. That's was, quite hilarious. <laughs> through, oh my God, yeah. bird mail was available then. That's, that's when, um, yeah. That's, so that that's not good. We're not, we're not, um, we're not, not creating scoring. many chances. But we had, so that's 8.8 .8 per game. Yeah. We had 11 shots in the first half against Leicester. So there yeah. was a step in the right direction. It wasn't, it wasn't a good 90 minutes of attacking football but it was a step in the right direction in terms of causing the other team more problems. Agreed. Crossing the ball more, we were just doing more. We were yeah. more unpredictable. But this backs up my point, it just backs up my point, which is not, we're not, earn, we're not urgent enough at going forward and hmm. we're not breaking quick enough and, and causing teams problems quick enough at all. Like I've said this, I think teams nowadays, as much as the stat of 144 goals in the first four weeks of the Premier League starting, it's the most been in a yeah, long time. Bad, yeah. Yours, yeah, your stat, but teams are getting behind the ball quicker and try, are getting more difficult to yeah. break down. So we need to move the ball faster and get it forward faster. So Do you think things are tightening up now because of that? Do you think 100%. Other, I think other managers might have looked at and gone, wow, we, yeah, we're leaking, all we leaking need goals. to shut up shop a bit. Yeah, look at United-Chelsea, the United-Chelsea game. They literally said, we're not going to really attack you. Yeah. You're not going to attack us. <laughs> we don't, and it was just... Yeah, let's just, let's just hope. Let's just... It kind of goes in somehow. You stand on your yeah. side, we'll stand on yeah. ours and... We'll just shout at each other or something. I'll we'll just hope the it, ball goes it, it in. Wasn't, it wasn't. I've got to say, that was one of the worst. It's so Maybe boring. the worst football match I've ever seen. So boring. And I'm really sorry, Arsenal fans. I fear we may see something similar on Oh, Sunday. we're going to see it on Sunday. Yeah. I, 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 I think that's our, <laughs> sad, that's our best hope on Sunday is to what, play. We just, maybe something goes our way. Yep, and soak up the pressure and hopefully <clears> we can just catch United when, they're, well, when mm. they're lacking or sleeping and just get a goal. I feel like mm. that's the best game plan for our tech Sunday. It may not go with that, but that is how I feel we can get something from the game and yeah. yeah. Well, I want to go into that a bit more mm -hmm. later because there's some interesting stats around that, but a few more sort of um, standout premium stats here. Man United have lost just two of their last 90, I call this a premium stat. Cool. Man United have lost just two of their last 19 matches in the Premier League and those two were Palace and Tottenham. So two London clubs again. I'm fixating on this London thing. They no, put no, it in good. here. No, it's good, yeah. it's good. No, it's quite interesting. It's, it helps. It helps. I mean, I don't know what style these London clubs are doing. That's different to the teams out of London. But well, they, well, I'll, yeah. Do you know what? I've got something tied to that. We'll go into it in a bit. Okay. Um, since scoring twice against Arsenal in his Premier League debut in Feb 2016, we all remember that day, no, Marcus no, Rashford no, has, hasn't netted in any of his last nine games against Arsenal in all competitions. He started five times in that run. So... Amazing debut against us, but he's not yeah, done it, it since then. Against Arsenal, since I remember since. that as well. Yeah, I remember that. I'm biased, so we'll that in a bit. <laughs> we can, yeah, we can, yeah. Um, <laughs> Pierre Ricabamiang, five dad. league games without a goal for the first time since November 2014. Yeah. He was playing for Dortmund at the time. During this five game streak, the striker has attempted only five shots in total and failed to land a shot on target on three occasions. 
Yeah, it's a bad stat, but I'm not going to fixate myself on that. I'm sorry. I, I, I mean, we spoke about this I think, I think last week about Bam, Bamiang. I'm just, I speak about it all the time. Fans saying, since he signed a contract, yeah, he hasn't scored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forget so all that. Boring. Forget all that. Like, he has scored. I know it's, it's just the, the system. Yeah, it's, just, it's, just, it's just, just the system where we're playing right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. And it will take It'll, time. Exactly. It takes time. He's probably been going. He's been, he definitely has a role mm. to play. I'm sure Arteta was drilling him this week on it uh, for Sunday's game. I expect a goal from him mm. soon. I mean, I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm definitely yeah. not worried. And like you said, it's, it's the way we're set up. It's not set up for him at the moment. Mm. Um, but also with that goal. saying it's not, it's the way we're set up, because I agree with you in many ways, but also we're not crazy. Aubameyang was sort of at his best scoring loads of goals under Arteta in the cup run or whatever. So it's just, it's just not clicked at the moment, yeah, but yeah. it will. Yeah, you know, it I, so. I'm, not, I'm not too worried about that. And then the obvious one, we have to add this. It's like a follow on from Man City that Arsenal winless in their last 29 away league games against the Big Six. That's tw 29. Jeez. Yeah, just... That's a horrible stat. It's a long time. Now, when That's we were reading stat. these, it's quite funny. Before Liverpool, it was 27. Yeah, yeah. Before City, it was oh, 28. Yeah, and now, yeah. it, obviously, you're just adding one for every game that goes by. But this is very much... I didn't expect to go to Anfield and win. I thought, I thought if we played well, we could mm. get a draw. So if we, if we played really well at the Etihad, we can nick a win. Yeah. But they're still who they are. I'm not trying to discredit the good work Man United have done in the last few weeks, really. But... Week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, week, week let's be real. Little yeah. two, max. But um, I expect us to... I, I, I'm going in hoping to win. I'm okay. not going there thinking, yeah, I'll be delighted with a draw. Do you know what I mean? Interesting. I'm going hoping yeah. we win the game. I and if we draw, I'll see the positives in it. Yeah, yeah. But I'll, I'll, yeah, I will be disappointed if we don't win. Not because I think we're better than them, because I think we can well, beat we, them. Yeah, well, once we play really well, they nick a goal late. Yeah, well, but that's is... fine. Like, you know, it's easy. Right. In the heat of the moment after a game. It's, it's a whole different You know, it's, it's, whole, it's, yeah. it's different, right? Especially but here as well. If we played the f second half against Leicester the way we played the first, but then they scored the same goal they did. Yeah, you wouldn't be as... I wouldn't be as angry. I'd, I would have been like, right, we took a step in the right direction in terms of performance, mm. but the result wasn't there, and that's okay. I can live with that. Yeah, yeah. It was the fact that the performance wasn't what it was. So, yeah, if we go to Old Trafford and play really well, yeah. I don't think we're going to attempt that. Yeah, I was, I, was being I was being devil's advocate there. <clears throat> I, no. I, I'm, I'm, wanting us, I'm wanting us to win. Of course I am. And mm. I actually feel like there's a slight chance. I really do. I feel like, as, mm. as, as uninspiring as I sound, I feel like we... We could nick something, definitely. It just depends how Arteta sets up and how he's going to go about it. And the players are just have to be on their A game, obviously. Um, In front of goal, we definitely do. We have to be efficient. Yeah, but I, I also don't feel think like any team will have any chance. But depending on the way Arteta wants to set up, if we're solidly at solid in defence, then we've got to soak up the pressure and stay um, stay. What's the, what's the word? Focus basically throughout the whole mm. the whole of the ninety minutes, and hopefully when we get the chance, we take mm. it. Yeah. If he sets up like that, then yeah, I've been, I'm confident. We'll, we'll see. No, let's look at um, United's home form at the moment in the in the league. It's not great. Mm -hmm. Draw, loss, loss, draw, draw. So they've not won in the last five. That's obviously stretching into last season. But but the flip side, Go on. Arsenal have lost four of their last five Premier League away games. Oh, okay. Because I was gonna say that, that that. So this has this has like nil nil draw written all over it, doesn't yeah. it? I think did I predict that? No, I didn't. I predicted. But then this is more. interesting. United versus Arsenal since Sir Alex Ferguson left. They beat us one nil. Mm -hmm. Then we drew one one. Then they beat us three two. Then we drew one one. Then we, they beat us 2-2, two, two, then we drew 2-2. Two, two. They beat us 2-2. They, be, they beat us 2-2. They, two, two. Two. they beat us 2-1 in 2018. Um, then we drew 2-2 two, two, and we drew 1-1. Uh, okay. So anyway, the graphic got, is appearing here. Yeah, to, it's got a draw pretty much written all over. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, game, our game. United were very beatable in those years. Yeah. Since Ferguson, they've been very beatable at home. Definitely. How in, what's that, seven attempts, have we not gone and won at least once? Because we, we've had some good moments in those seven years. We've had some ups. Like we had Alexis Sanchez and Ozil at their best. Yeah. We've had P. Kabamian and Lacazette. Like we've had some good moments. Like even when we were on the up under Emery, mm. we just won the North London derby and we went to Old Trafford and we drew some really stupid goals we conceded. Yeah. Like there were times I'm looking at, I'm thinking, what I'm seeing there is our record isn't great. We should have won there. But also, United will be disappointed to have drawn four of their last seven games at Old Trafford with Arsenal. Definitely. That's not, 
No, that's, that's not great. Yeah, they've beaten us a few times, but that's not great, yeah, yeah. really. They should be... They, should, they will be thinking they should be beating us every single time. 100%. 100%. So, 100%. And I feel like... And definitely when we go there Sunday, <clears throat> yeah. they're going to they're gonna have that. They're going to have mm. that in mind. Like, we should be winning. Yeah. We should be beating this team. So, um, yeah, that's not... Interesting one. It is an interesting one. It's not what it, it makes out to be, if I'm honest. I think, yeah. I think you're right. I think Man United are probably disappointed in just getting a lot of those withdrawals. Yeah. Um, yeah. Should we look at Oliver Arteta? Yes. This is an interesting one. This is a very interesting yeah, one. Because yeah, yeah. I always have debates on, well, it's more Oli, Lampard and Arteta, who's mm. the better manager. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. No, that's a, that's a hot topic. It, it is. One, one team will flop and then it's, yeah. it comes up, doesn't it? Yeah. Who, the manager's way better than that. At the, exactly. moment, at the moment, Solskjaer seems to be at the front of the line, but it was Arteta two weeks ago. Exactly. And that's kind of... I don't know how... The fickleness of football. I don't know. I thought Ole Gunnar Solskjaer would be out of a job by now. I, I literally... Really? I think... Because I just feel like... His players turn up when, it, he, the, when he needs them. Exactly. It's like <laughs> the last... It's like, it's like they go and have a meeting with yeah. Ollie and say, listen, if you don't win this game, yeah. that's it for you at the end of the month or something, yeah, something yeah. like that. And then he probably goes to the players and like, guys... I'm if on you, the brink. Yeah, I'm on the brink. If you don't want to still have fun and have all this, blah, blah, <laughs> yeah. blah, then you need to win this game. And that's what it feels like. They just go out there and somehow everyone's enjoying themselves. They're playing well. But yeah, but more time. I wonder if when his job's in like slightly under threat, he just lets go a little bit and just says, right, just go and play. And actually you realise that the players they've got are quite good. Yeah. And the minute he, maybe I'll be really harsh, but the minute he tries to apply a bit Over-coached of like... Overcoached them, yeah. Um, sort of tactical Tactic- insight, <laughs> they just don't have a clue. Yeah, they're just probably looking but, like, nah. Do you know what? Imagine I'm gonna regret it. I'm gonna regret no, saying all this. No. And they pepper us on no. Sunday. But I just, I'm sorry. I just don't. I've not seen enough of Oli yet. To I think he's done a good job in yeah. terms of like results and sort of yeah. Three, but he has, he has the players whatever. though. I feel like he has the. T- he does he have he the players. Has the talent, yeah. But here we go. So in the league, Arteta's win percentage is 46. percent Oli's is 43. It's not a lot in it. Three percent. Yeah. Okay. Um, points per game, Arteta again just edges it. 1.6 points per game, Solskjaer's 1.5. Come on, Arteta, come on. Uh, he's man. slightly edging it, but yeah. goals per game, oh, well. Arteta 1.5, Solskjaer 1.6. There's not a lot in it. Yeah, it's tight. So people here having these debates about the managers, these I are, these are good. appreciate Oli's had, I think that's what goes against Oli. He's had a lot more time with the team. Yeah, yeah. And you, so when you see them drop a 3 1 clangor at home to Palace or get peppered 6 1 by Spurs, Spurs you yeah, think, Bruins, uh, come on, that you're. you're not two years, but you're about a year and a half approaching two years into the job. Mm. That shouldn't be happening, but whatever. Um, so there's not a lot there. But this is where I think um, there is a bit of a real difference. It won't sound like a lot, but Arteta goals conceded per game, mm-hmm. 1.1. Okay. Solskjaer. So, oh, bloody hell. Oh, Solskjaer. That came from um, the, the, the deep pits um, of, the, yeah, of, the, of the vocal cords. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Um, Solskjaer, 1.4. Okay, what was Arteta's again? 1.1. 1. 1. So it's not but, a lot. No, it's not. But we, that's actually quite a lot. No, yeah. You know, like it doesn't sound like a lot because obviously you're narrowing it down to mm. per game, but that's quite a lot. I mean, um, Man United have conceded 115 goals in 82 games. I thought, I'd, yeah, our defence is, our defence is, I think it's, it's one of, well, it was at one point one of the best mm. in the league so, mm. um, so far. So that's, that is interesting. I mean, I don't know, the, the time thing is, it's definitely a big as a factor in mm. all these stats, and I feel like Arteta. I want Arteta to have the same time as Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. That's what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Solskjaer We're all having a nightmare. With I this know. Game today. Yeah. That's why I feel like Arteta is a better manager. I feel like his stats will be better the more time he has because he has the, it gives the team more time together. And I feel like we have you're right. we have a good team. Um, maybe like miss, yeah, we have a good team. Maybe mm. like one addition. Mm. Uh, but apart from that, I feel like yeah. once the team knows, like I always say it, once they know how to play with each other and they understand how everyone plays, they've got the passing pattern sorted, it will be all right. Yeah, all right. a little bit of um, just some quick, I want some quick tactical insight here. Um, Man United, five of their nine goals this season have come on after the 76th minute. Um, okay. You know, does that just suggest that maybe if we... That, that's sort of when it starts to open up a bit when they, and the results are looking set in stone, maybe they come alive a little bit. That's, every, t- that's every team right now in the Premier yeah. League from when it's just 1-0 from the beginning then, or 0-0 and then towards the end, things open mm. up. So, yeah, yeah, I feel, um, that's something we've got to be aware of. Yeah. But I always talk about it, that is, it's the concentration levels of the players. Yeah, um, yeah, they yeah. have to be focused for the whole 90 minutes. It's, it's imperative this Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So if we yeah. open up, they'll pick us off. Oh, 100%. and if we're chasing the game, they'll pick us yeah. off. So and there's, there's we need to be quite tight. Thank you. And we need to try and take our opportunities. Thank and we, you. it suits us to make this as boring a game as possible. Because yeah. I trust Aubameyang if he gets the chance to put it away. Yeah. And I trust that we've got pace on the break to make something happen. I also trust that United will feel that at home mm. they should try and have a go. Yeah, one hundred percent. So this I'm all for actually playing a back exactly. five and being a bit more conservative. But me and James are normally in agreement, and we yeah. both agree this. So I feel like Patrice Evra is going to have a meltdown if he sees it on Sunday. But this yeah. is how it is. How it, we want that meltdown because that's how we're going to win the game or get a point or yeah or win yeah. is being conservative and just locking down the back yeah. and waiting for opportunity. It's you. Yeah. You know that I'm championing attacking football and seeing us finally come out of our shell and release the handbrake. Because I keep saying having a go. Yeah. yeah. But I um, I said it before Leicester as well. Mm -hmm. That was a game, I think, to maybe maintain our conservative nature yeah. a little bit. And we, we sort of did and didn't, yeah, <laughs> in a weird way. We, um, yeah, we did and didn't, yeah. And then I think United's the same, I think. Same. But then after this, there, there's a nice run of games where I think we can start to have a go more. But yeah. that's all from me, man. I mean, you know, it's going to be interesting. Rashford's completed 17 dribbles for, for Man United this season, the most of any other player. He's going to be important, you know, to basically stop. We stop him. We saw what we did against Leipzig. Yeah. But, but that's really it. Otherwise, I mean, um, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. But, but, but I think we can do it. I yes. really do. It's going to be an, listen, it's going to be a big match day. I'm looking forward to it. Um, thank you, James, yeah, for your no stats. Worries. And thank you all for watching. That's the Stats Preview Show. And yeah, catch us Sunday. This video is supported by Profit Accumulator. Profit Accumulator helps you to earn extra money by doing something called match betting. Match betting isn't gambling. And when you do it properly, and I mean properly, you can't lose. Now you always see these promotions by bookmakers like Labbrooks, William Hills, Corals, offering a 50 pound bonus to customers. So you sign up and you might place a £50 bet on a coin toss landing on heads and a £50 bet on the same coin toss landing on tails. Now whichever way it lands, it don't matter because you won't win or lose any money because you've covered all of the outcomes. However, you get the £50 bonus, so you're still £50 up. Now lots of people try to do match betting on their own, but it's very time consuming and not always easy if you don't know what you're doing. That's where Profit Accumulator come in. Even if you don't know anything about sports, they walk you through everything step by step, showing you how to accumulate money into your bank account. So get involved right now. Click the link in the description and sign up to Profit Accumulator right now.